First of all, I'd like to congratulate you all, Mohammed and Luis. You guys have done a great job, and you've been uh, you've been very consistent. The growth, and I've heard of possibility of expanding. You you've, you've foreseen that, and you've planned ahead. And um, I can relate to that as far as DMCC is concerned. We're we're working on expanding the free zone itself, um, and you know. Having a company, having a setup in DMCC and is not the same as having, having your business set up in any other part of Dubai or the UAE or the region. It's completely different. Just like a few days ago, one specific horse got the world record, came from a special stable, the Godolphin stable. So this is how I like to look at the DMCC. We like to produce a lot of, uh, we like to attract businesses from around the, around the world, commodities and all that. And startups is a big story, is a big part of that story. We've seen it with some of the big members who have expanded, have set up new businesses, look to contribute to the economy here. Um, talking about expansion, uh, as of today, I know, I, know one, I know about two companies that are looking for two floors in Jumeirah Lakes Towers, and they can't find it, which is great. It means we have to provide the solution to them and, uh, and, and work pretty fast into delivering our first tower in the expansion, the Uptown uh, Dubai Tower, which will have the uh, So Uptown, the hotel uh, set up, which, which we announced a few days ago. Um, you're in a great, vibrant uh, free zone here where... Uh, where you have businesses from all over the world, from the far, far Asia to, uh, to Latin America, North, North America. Uh, DMCC represents businesses from all over, including African countries as well. Um, areas that uh, looked at us as competition, now see us as a complementing center, and we learn, we exchange information. I, I personally engage with a lot of our competing centers almost on a daily basis, whether it be diamond, whether it be gold, whether it be agri, um, and, and all of those. Um, if your business is related to commodities, do not hesitate to get in touch with DMCC if you have a concept. You never know. You could be part of the DMCC growth. You could be part of the coffee center we're looking to uh, launch in, uh, at the end of this year um, next to the tea center. I know it sounds funny. The tea industry does not like the coffee industry so much. About uh, 15 years ago when we started the tea forum, the, the talks were all about why is the tea industry falling behind? How come there is no tea shops, it's all coffee shops? Why is Starbucks doing so well? Why is there a coffee contract and there's no tea contract? Today, the tea industry have caught up so much that uh, four of the big coffee businesses have bought tea brands. None of the tea industry have bought coffee brands. Uh, but they're all competing and coming up with innovative ways to... Uh, to uh, capture more market, to convince you that you need your coffee and vice versa. Um, I, from what I understand, their biggest competition is actually the energy drinks. And uh, since I don't represent any of the energy drinks, I'd like to advise you to avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> avoid them and, and stick with the natural uh, way forward. Um, I think, I believe your coffee place used to, uh, or still uh, serves uh, cold brew and cold drip coffee. Not sure if it's still there. I, um, it, it does bring a smile to my face to see that this is expanding, honestly. And uh, uh, when, uh, when this concept was brought to us, uh, you know, it, it, I didn't see it as an impossible task. But, you know, we as DMCC, we're, we were ourselves a startup. We were an incubated startup. And the first four years, uh, I think the m most challenging thing was getting buy-in from the community here. They didn't see it happen. Why would there be a diamond industry? There's no background. You have no affiliation with De Beers. Um, India is very competitive. The we looked at what Dubai can provide in a strong point, and Dubai plays a big role in connecting the uh, producers in Africa and the buyers in, uh, in India and China, and actually now it's connected with, the, with Europe as well. Um, and also we've been engaging on, on different levels when it comes to that. The same with gold, you have the gold refinery, you have the, we have the gold vault in, uh, in Almas Tower, gold futures on the Dubai Gold and Commodities Exchange. This month in April, we have a number of conferences, uh, one of which is the Dubai Precious Metals Conference, there's the Asia House Conference, and I would like to invite some of you who are interested just to learn. I mean, just to learn, get the background. You don't know how that will influence your decision making. You will have an insight to where the market is. Our advantage in DMCC is that we have a feel, we have a sense of where the business is going because we engage with them. This is, no, this is not uh, a free zone where we provide the license, we provide an office space, and that's it. We want to understand 
where the business is going. We would like, we, we're, we're always engaging, whether it's online, whether, whether it's uh, through social media, whether it's face to face, we are here. So uh, you're not part of just Astrolabs community or the Google Tech Hub. You're part of the DMCC free zone. You're part of the largest free zone in the Middle East, the best free zone globally. And we intend to keep that ranking for as long as we can. So thank you for being part of this.